Okay, so much longer than that. Nice to meet you. Crazy. I'm coming into this game trying to maintain my focus, trying to win this five hundred thousand dollars, and of course, I see Jessica. My name is Jessica. I'm 26 years old, and I live here in Los Angeles, California. I've been watching Big Brother since I was a little girl. It was my quality time with my dad. He passed away three years ago. My name is Cody. I'm 27, and I am in sales. Where are you from, Cody? Dallas. 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 Cody's cute. Oh God. My name is Cody. I live in Dallas, Texas, and I am in construction sales. I was a Marine for four years, served in Iraq and Afghanistan. But before that, I served six years in the Air Force. I worked on nuclear weapons, and I was also an intelligence analyst. Jessica. I mean, clearly Jessica is, uh, I don't even know how to say it. <laughs> Showmances are dumb. I maintain that position. And of course, you put the hottest chick in, in Big Brother history in the house with me. It was extremely cool to get this victory. I'm the first HOH of the season. I've nominated you, Megan. Megan, I just don't like you that much. That thing that Jess is wearing? Yeah. That thing's more sexy than, I mean, she's wrapping herself in an American flag right now. <laughs> she's wrapping herself in freedom. <laughs> right, same, yeah. same, same. I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to Papa's over there, so I'd rather not. I was sitting over there, and they were telling Jessica she should go talk to Cody. She's like, no, Panda is over there. I don't want to deal with that. I can't believe they called you Panda. Like, isn't that a little racist? No, because I like... Yeah, apparently you're racist. Apparently you made a racist uh, Asian remark that I, like, overheard Megan. I cannot believe she's calling me racist. I guarantee you it's because I said she looks like Pow Pow. I wanted to talk to you. Oh, okay. Even told me to go over and sit next to Cody, like flirt with Cody, and I said, I'm not going to do that because he's talking to you. I think it's that she went and manipulated how I said that. Stop telling lies, everyone. No, I haven't. Yes, everyone knows it, dude. You lied and made up a racist comment. I did not make up a racist then comment. Then what happened? She said she didn't want to go over there because Panda was over there. Uh, do you understand how dumb you look? Like, I never called her a panda. That's what I heard. I have never called her panda. Ever. So what are you doing? I am going to fight my butt off for this veto, and I'm going to live to see another day in this house. Watch me. Megan will no longer be participating in Big Brother this summer. What? what? Moving on. <laughs> I just don't like him. I just wanted to come here and tell you, put that in your head in the future. Yeah, and you got banana in your beard. But take it serious, I'm right? Sorry. <laughs> hey, hey. And there's one common thread in each of those conversations. There's someone that is trying to sow disloyalty and distrust towards my game and myself, and I take that as a personal attack. So my replacement nominee is Paul. Take a seat. I want to keep not just me here, not just you here, but I want to keep us here. And I'm being protective of that. You need to be here because you deserve it. Well, Alex, er... I did not mean to say that. He got the temptation. Christmas, you got screwed. Take a seat. Jessica, you're first tonight. Please go to the diary room. If you got Josh, no you personal got... talk. Just grab your stuff, do whatever you got to okay. do, and leave. Thank you. I didn't have to say anything to you. Yeah, you did. No, actually, you, you're I didn't. kind of a coward because you said something to me when I wasn't allowed to have a voice. Uh, the first week, I put my trust and loyalty into somebody in a team, Cody and Jessica. You guys totally stabbed me in the back, lied to me, and pulled the rug out from underneath of me. And I just want everybody to know that they've been playing 
each and every one of you. Actually, you lied? So... Actually, I didn't. You literally looked me in the eye and said, if you stay in this house, you're coming for me and Cody. Why would I give you my vote? I didn't why tell you would, that. Why would I vote for you to stay here? Do you want you're to talk to me or do you want to listen? Do I want to talk to you? You had days to speak to me then and get you out chose of my not face. to. You did it on live I TV. I spoke to you. You're I spoke a coward. To you. You're a I coward. spoke to you. When... No, 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 no. There's no, there's no and, buts, or anything. Conversation's over and do what you gotta do. Yeah, I'm gonna let yeah, you talk. No, no, just Josh. All I wanna say is that there, I don't want no tension. Shut the f up. That's what I said to you? Do you, you want to play your game? You want to say something? Good for you, Christmas. You're so f Whoa. Oh, okay. All I asked for was a conversation. And then have the courage and the testicles to say, hey, you haven't talked to me this entire game. Don't ask me for something. Not, no one's talked games to me this entire I'm time. I'm trying to talk Please, to you. Please, you, you sound like a little girl when you say that. Oh, oh my you, God, then don't be a don't liar. Don't call me a bitch then and don't, don't call a me a little girl. I'm calling you a liar because that's You're exactly what you are. I haven't said anything Baby, bad about when you. when you say something, I'm not gonna argue. stick to it. Let's Otherwise, have a conversation. Now. No. no there he is. Where is DR? Jess is in the DR? Yeah. What? That doesn't make sense. Are you sure? If they want to put me up and get me out of the house, go for it. But I'm not going to sit in a room with all of them. Do I? Should we wait? Like, give me a break. This house is taking five years off my life. Want to make out? <laughs> It doesn't bother me that much. You need to change your diet. I could call you a coward, a victim, a loser, but you're a meatball. You suck. You're a loser. Make no, you were, a speech. You don't were shake just... during it because it's not intimidating. Oh, I'm gonna make friends and don't make more enemies. Josh, don't give me life advice, please. Don't lie what on me. What are you even talking about? I'm not gonna about. argue with what you. Are you. Then shut the f up if you don't want to argue. Perfect. Then my decision is to continue to be the queen of perseverance. And today, in the Big Brother house. Staying with us. Thanks, I am too. Very, very blessed. I know. Broke my foot, and then when I came back, you and Cody didn't come back from downstairs to check on me. I was the first person that saw you, Chris. I've had every punishment in the house poured on to me. I think that you're a better person than playing the mean girl role. I'm on slop and I can't even do something as simple as eat a cake. And where I can go in the house is limited because we have to sit on lily pads all week. Cody? Paisley, love and miss you, kiddo. Don't be a beta. Jessica, thanks for standing side by side with me. I'm extremely humbled. I'm going to be bummed. I'm going to miss you a lot. By a vote of seven to three, Cody, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. Bang. <laughs> Taking her away. <laughs> well, let's just start with what you whispered to Jessica. You asked her to be your girlfriend? Is this? <laughs> you guys what? got that. Yeah. Right? Oh, sure. please. We have microphones everywhere. Yeah. You on your own decided to blindside Paul. What was the thinking behind not telling anyone about that move? Because I knew somebody was going to try and talk me out of it. Uh, I wanted it to be a big move. I wanted it to be my decision. So I you went with it. You seem strong-minded. I don't think someone would have been able to talk you out no, of it. No, no. But Paul had these guys. I mean, they're like groupies to him in there. Like, Paul tells a story, and it's like, tell another one, Paul. Tell another one. Well, what if we said we gave you a second chance? You're lying. <laughs> 